Hello, my peoples. My name is Glitchcat, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. Uh, in the last episode, guys, we were able to enter the home of the Sanders residence, another mansion, and after proving more uh, investigation on mrs sanders the wife of the dude that i saw in the insane asylum that died before my eyes saw stranger things style yes uh after do that i was directed to examine a specific painting in her art gallery that francis sanders bought and like strongly insisted that he buy this painting off of sarah hawkins which we found out that sarah was not willing didn't really want him to have the painting and uh it was called the shambler which is the thing that francis sanders told us about that like was the beast that was coming after him and yeah so after getting into the art gallery and finding the uh the shambler painting uh we were hit with a monster encounter that was beautifully handled by yours truly yeah, I, I did it with like flying colors, swimmingly, you may say. But yeah, with that in mind, uh, that uh, encounter was a lot of me running from the damn beast and trying to go about the entire art gallery, finding which dagger would work on the painting. And upon finding the uh, right dagger really quickly, right off the bat, uh, I was able to stab it into the painting and make the monster go back from whence it came and then suffered from an illusion perhaps that my arm was being consumed by the dark magic too and then cat walked in and i had interactions with her so yeah so that's where we're at so far um without further ado let's jump back in this guys I believe right now we have the dagger that saved our lives, casting the beast back into the painting. And right now we're going to go to the guy that gave Francis Sanders the dagger for his art collection. And we're going to discuss more about what's so special about this uh, dagger, per se. So, yeah, uh, let's go win this thing. Oh, Jesus. Well... Something tells me something wholesome didn't happen here. You see that? That was so cool. Oh man. Where is the bookseller? Where is the bookseller? I am now going to roam about his establishment. you and find stuff what does that sound All right. Freud's the interpretation of dreams ah. it's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century good to know of dreams oh. alright you could not do that Anyway, so I guess I'm going to snoop around his establishment until I can find signs of him. Ooh. Another volume of the Reverend's Wife's Volume diary. four. Guys, I completely fucking missed volume one, and I'm very disappointed in myself. Ugh. There's gotta be a specific reason why I'm collecting volumes of that scattered throughout the entire island. Alright, anything here? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, Guardian, by all means. Hello? Do I go further in there or go into this room? Linguistics! I know English! <clears throat> Aha! Ooh! Art! It's the god. Uh, no, not the Goblet of Fire. Uh, uh, the Holy Grail! Yes! The Holy Grail! Alright, is there anything I can say about this? Ooh, chess! I do like a good chessboard. But, is there anything else in here? Oh, I can climb up the ladder. Oh, there we go. There's something. <clears throat> Dark 
water history. Apparently, I had nothing to say about that. <clears throat> Obtained. All right. Is it a phonograph or a record player? It's a phonograph. Or in the phonograph era. Ooh. Oh! More oil for my lantern. Astronomy. Hello? Okay. <clears throat> Let me admire more of your establishment, please. Dark Water History Volume 2! I'm literally just taking things from his establishment. I just... Why am I just taking shit? Hmm, that ceiling fan. Ooh, those are pretty. I thought those were candles at one point. They are apparently not candles. All right. That's cool. He's probably up in there. I can probably go, ding dong. Hello. But I'm not. I'm going to snoop around his uh, mythology. Mythology. I'm going to snoop around his place of work. If there's anything I can pick. Yes, there we go. Oh, God. The Book of Zion is the foundational work behind Helena Blavatsky's theosophical movement. Its <clears throat> followers place truth on the same footing as a religion. I'm glad that I just have this knowledge somewhere tucked away in my brain. Also, that's how you pronounce that? Zion? Zion? I, my little dumbass was gonna say, Zion! Zion! <laughs> okay, we're just gonna... So I do need- Oh no, so I do need the lantern out to find shit. A medicine. Home three. Well, let me see if there's anything else that I fucking missed. Oh! I can actually go and upgrade something. Shit! It told me I could. It told me I could. Alright, so I got three. Alright, let's go ahead and... Upgrade that some more. The expert, Jesus Christ, I think. Oh, that's right. That's right. I did this back there in the monster encounter and then I died so many times. I mean, I soared through that with flying colors. Would you doubt in my abilities? I would. <clears throat> anyway, let's go over here. Psychology, investigation. That's all right. Okay, and validate. Yes. yes. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, skills. Sanity. All right, yes. Meet the Shambler. The Shambler! Or, in layman's terms, this is Lanky. Hi, Lanky! <clears throat> it is in Francis Sanders' private gallery that Pierce discovers the identity of the Shambler, a huge artwork painted by Sarah Hawkins. When Pierce approached it, a creature burst forth from the painting and immediately chased after him. The beast from another dimension has such a hold on the mind of a person who finds himself in its presence that a single that a simple glance in its direction is enough for Pierce to lose some sanity. Pierce finally managed to send the Shambler back into the painting using a dagger engraved with a strange symbol, which I noticed. <clears throat> But this encounter has left its mark on the psyche of the investigator. Still under the influence of the creature, he almost stabbed his own hand. Yeah. So, that's great. Uh, just... Like... Food for thought, don't stab your hand. At least to lacerations and seven stitches. <clears throat> oh, by the way, I have gotten half of the stitches taken out of this thing. Which, upon taking the stitches out, uh, half of it opened back up, but not as deep as it was before. So, yeah. So, for four more days, I'm leaving the rest of the stitches in there. And Dr. Say is just going to have to heal, and I'm going to still have to take it easy. But, yeah. And, guys, get this. It got to the point where, like, one of the stitches was so difficult for them to take out that, uh, I had to take the tweezers and the snippers and cut the last stitch out myself so yeah teamwork everybody needs a little help all righty uh oh a bunch of stuff that i have missed all right anyway 
Okay, is there a bunch of stuff that I've missed just because I didn't have the damn lantern out? Oh my god, okay. Also, why does all the lanterns here, except mine, just radiate with a strange fume? God, it's really fucking bright in this office now that I have this lantern out. God, I used that much in a small instance? Oh, you could not do that. Why, why would you do that? <clears throat> Alright. Oh. Oh, a box. Handbook of Anthology, okay. An anim enemy, an 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 anatomy, an 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 yes. Oh. Wait. Would, would you read the book? Would you read the book? I had a similar, uh, incident it happened in the, uh, the Sanders residence and, but it was right in front of Cat and I don't know, uh, let me go ahead and read the book. Yeah, because there's so many books in here. What, what does this strange book contain? This book contains unholy knowledge. Oh, it is the Shambler guys. Look at the fucking this. Okay. This will affect your destiny. All right. This collection catalogs a class, classif and classifies creatures that I have never heard of. Divinities from the stars, creatures capable of traveling from one dimension to another. It presents itself as the reference work of the beastery of the myth. Work on the beastery, be beast, bestery, yes, words. Without giving details on the mythology to which it refers, to which it refers, dear God. Its pages are covered with a phantom illustrations. Uh, going into this game, I, since it is the wonderful universe of the cryptic world of Lovecraft, I know there's gonna be a lot of wordplay. Um, I am not verbally skilled in the English dialogue to pronounce a lot of these things right on the whim. So, yeah, otherwise, I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> ah! Jesus, what the fuck? Why is that gonna happen every time I'm presented with a situation like that? Oh, oh, so that upgrade. Oh, so things in it upgrades me to that. Okay, so I could have read that to increase my knowledge. Well, fucking damn it! I thought it was something with the relationship with the characters in here. So, well, all right. Well, that's one thing I've missed. So, all right, cool beans. Um, all right, put that away. I'm just gonna nosy on by. Actually, hold on, pause. Inventory, nope, wait. Knowledge, this thing, no. This thing, is this all I can defer from this? All right, fine. So this just does add to my knowledge of shit. And all the other items that I have just willingly taken from people's homes, and yes. Wait, I have more? Oh, sanity. But I've done, I've done read through these. Okay, hold on. Oh, ooh, why is that before that? Okay. Here's reason, action, action, treat this. The, yes. History makes an inventory of numerous creatures from the oculate world. Oculate! Motherfucker! Occult! Sorry. Occult world or parallel dimensions, the very nature of its uh, knowledge makes it an unholy book. By reading it, Pierce lost some of his sanity? Oh, what the fuck? That, some of that stuff's like cool. I mean, even if it's like dark and like demonic, I mean, some of that's like cool. I mean, it appeals to me. That That's cool, you know. Would I take some of that seriously? Maybe not. Would it be eerie and unsettling? Yes, but I still think it's cool, you know? I just appreciate a diverse uh, tome of art in general. Anything, anything. Dark water. Of like places, places, places. <sighs> See, that's still fucking cool. Uh, just make sure I clear out everything. This dagger, it was a special dagger. Oh, I did not notice that the rune that it was in engraved with was a pentagram perfect 
I'm going to be starving. What happened so here? Hard, right? Oh, no. What do you mean, what happened here? How can you just walk into one little room and know, Ah, oh, yes. Let me reconstruct the scene. Let's start over. Nova. Where did they break in from? Oh. Hello. Good girl. Oh, I am at the beginning of the whole damn room. Hey, yo, baby. Good girl. Yes. I gotta make sure my fur baby's okay. All right. All right. Blood. Seems like amateur work. Ugh. Oh, fuck. Yeah. All right. A blood trail. Is there a blood trail? No, there's not. All right, cool. Anything leading over here? All right. To whom does this footprint belong? Mm. Ooh, you look like you appear to be struggling, because I didn't even know it was a footprint at first. Oh, I can't go in there, so the investigation is still in this room singularly. Alright, so... What else can I find? Ew! So we've broken something, haven't we? This burglar seems to be rather clumsy. Aha, uh -huh, yes. And wounded, so... Anything throughout here? God, it's fucking dark. Alright, fine. We'll just go in through here. Ooh, am I okay? Mm hmm. So the only other thing I've messed with this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so. What sort first. of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? He left his tools at the crime scene? Oh. Uh huh. Oh. Okay, hold on. So that's what I did. What killed all these animals? What are those? That's a rat. That's rats. Are those locusts or something else? Bugs. All right. What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? Ah. Uh... What the? Charles Hawkins? Shit! Looks like the symbol wow. rejected Hawkins. Aha! The symbol rejected Hawkins. Ooh, look at that glitch work. That's so fucking cool, what dude. What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Exactly. Ooh! Oh, look at that! It's the Oc 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 Necro Amelon, something like that. Oh, I gotta do that. Jesus! Okay. Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. Jesus. Dude, I'm loving this glitch work. Someone behind me! Oh, you were hiding behind there the entire time. Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. Hmm. Everything is linked to Sarah Hawkins' case. I feel like something's going to be right outside, waiting for me once I get out. Dude, I really think that... Uh... Oculism is, like, ca causing me to glitch out of reality. That's fucking cool. God, look at that. Alright, I've looked at this long enough. Yeah, let's get back into reality. Game saved. I fucking hate that. All right, open the safe. Okay, hold on. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. Oh, great. Oh, no. Okay. If somebody finds these memoirs, there will be no doubt that I am serious in serious trouble. My last and only hope is that my body and bones are still in this plane of reality. An order that they be recovered and burned. The funeral urn must be given to my dear mother if she is still in of this world. The following message is of capital importance. I don't know how he sounds, but I'm just gonna make him sound like that. Whoever finds, whoever reads these lines and demonstrates 
as sharp as mine, can hope to gain access to my most precious possession. It lies within my safe, and the clues to the combination are to be found in three cylinders, each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. Each cylinder is numbered, even if, as the celebrated author says, order is the pleasure of reason, but disorder is the delight of the imagination. Never heard that before, but then again, I'm not cultured. Indeed, despite my preference for organized chaos, I must admit that reason that reason usually prevails in the end. Oh my god, well, how long did you fuck? If by chance a person, or should I say a genius, was to match my intellect and find the combinations of the safe, I would ask that my that they deliver its contents into the safekeeping of my friend and colleague, Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University. The content of this safe is not only a vast digest of knowledge, but also a weapon that is far too dangerous for it to fall into the wrong hands. I hope that you will be able to appreciate the danger that this represents, and that you will act accordingly. In any event, I will neither be there to guide you nor to suffer from the your actions. Perfect. Thank you for giving me the stakes. Alright. Let's find some shit. Okay. You could not do that. Thank you. Okay, you made me open that for no damn reason. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? Oh, you left those. No, item obtained. Never mind. Apparently you are too. What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? Uh, look at it. It is a pentagram. $2,053. Jeebus Christmas. Okay. Mm, the Elder Sign. The Elder Sign? That's what it is. The Elder Sign? It's not a pentagram, guys. It's the Elder Sign. Alright. Wait, that said Charles Hawkins. No, give me that! Oh my god, it's in my goddamn... Okay. No. Oh. Sanity? No. Here we go. Here we go! This key that bears the Elder Ring is the only one able to protect your psyche. It is in the form of a cylinder medallion. Call that a cylinder? I'm just not educated. Anyway, hanging at the end of a heavy chain, hundreds of years ago, the star and the branch, whose purpose is to push back the forces of the great old ones. Yes, Edward. <laughs> were engraved at its center. Everything points to it being Charles Hawkins that tore it from its last owner, an Egyptian antique dealer. In press in press cuttings that mention the misdemeanor the date of the robbery coincides coincides with the last of hawkins trips of of two it remains to be seen whether he knows of the true purpose of the artifact try to find it thanks i'm not very good at scavenger hunts i'm just going to say that already whispering it's whispering at me oh, I'm just gonna go snoop around the place to see if I can find that first alchemy mm -hmm. hello oh my god Jesus Christ Arkham editions never heard of him Arkham editions Arkham Asylum guys how many volumes are there in this collection? Well, we're about another to find volume them. by Arkham Editions. Another volume. Arkham Editions. Arkham Editions. Never, Never heard, heard of, of them. them. How many volumes are there in this collection? Well, we're finding a lot of them. Okay. Another volume by Arkham Editions. Two. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, oh. Arkham Editions. Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this collection? I'm looking! Jesus Christ, quit talking about it! I'm 
hunting for something and I don't know what. I'm hunting for something and I don't know what. I'm gonna play some Things chest. are not looking good. Hmm. White's not having a great time here. I always play black. Ooh, is that like a marble chest piece? That's fucking expensive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A kind of chalice. A kind of chalice. I normally walk into the kitchen and go, ah, a kind of cup. That's all I have to say about it. What is that sound? Is it just the wind outside? I'm looking for something and I don't know what. <laughs> Arkham Edition. Never heard of them. Arkham Edition. Never heard of them. Arkham Edition. Never heard of them! Okay. Alright. Have I found these things yet? I doubt it. Ooh. Aha! Cylinders! Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. Yep. Time to take them to the phonograph, guys. Time to take them to the phonograph. Oh, God. Okay, let's do the first one. Oh, that's him! I We saw him at the bar, like, at the beginning of the game. Okay. Uh, let's do this one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And these red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the Grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Okay. All right. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Okay, so chess and the queen, all right? Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. So, Volume 9, okay. And these red drops, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the Grail does not protect me from its attractions. The Grail. Me. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Okay, so the grill, the chessboard, and volume nine. So, all right. A chalice of knowledge. Chalice of knowledge. Uh, but, but, wait. Wait, the redstones. Okay, maybe I gotta count them? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, five? Okay, five. The queen has little protection. Little protection. Little protection. So three, three, five, three. Which one's volume nine? Oh God, Roman numerals. Which one's volume nine, guys? Drake talked about a particular volume. Yes. So if I just so these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his message. What did Drake yes. say about this collection? That's not nine. Drake talked about a particular volume. Oh, well, apparently that's not it. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his message. That's not volume nine then. No, of course not. What did Drake say about this collection? That's only one. That's two and three. Volume nine. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nine is, okay, the one. An X. Okay. I uh, sold that one right there. Drake talked about a particular volume. Okay. A particular volume. Volume 9. Wait, what about it? He said volume 9. Yes, this one. Of course, it had the fucking title here, James. You stupid dum dum. Now, it's 1908. This volume is a part of the Arkham. Blah, 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 blah. 
only 18 years old. Wait, so five, three, 18? Oh, so those are bugs. Um, okay. Hold on, okay. Oh, God, okay, so. Five. Three. Nine. Oh, it opened it. I didn't even need to go. <laughs> oh, you just touched it like that. What if you just... <gasps> oh, yes. Dear Jesus, it's fucking huge. Something's gonna happen. Oh, God. Look at that motherfucker. Tome of the Eldritch Gods. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. Hey, you should pro- You should probably close it! It's wrapping around you! Oh, look at all this. Oh, look at all those people. Oh. I just homed in on somebody? I went back to the goddamn... Asade Asylum. All right, let's jump back into this, hee-haw. Oh, God. This man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... He's busy with Captain Fitzroy. Oh. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. Mr. We'll Blake. take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. So I'm Dr. Colden now. So is this in the past or is this like right now? I'm not really sure. Um, okay. Regarding the patient, examine the patient. Has he been drugged? No, he's been for, uh, regarding the patient, uh, examine the patient. I'll examine Very the well. patient. I'll examine him. Right, uh... Let's examine his head first. 30-year-old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palubral tissue. Lord, this smell. Jeez. Oh, okay, the hands. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's wow. totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender at the touch, slightly sticky. Ring under the skin, suction cups of tentacles. Let's look at the hip. Severe malnutrition. Oh. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. Mm. <gasps> Doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. So, oh. doctor, an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor, after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? Oh my god, all these are unlocked? Jesus Christ. He has something in his belly. Oh no, what if they're planting Cthulhu babies in people's stomachs like aliens? Okay. Instead of his limbs are worrisome. Severely hydrant. All of the water could be going to the thing that's inside his belly. Should I say that? Let's start with that Did first. Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry, that the edema would go away by itself. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. In spite of the muscle contractions, his mm. arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. 
And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky mm. rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. He's becoming a Tentaculu monster. Disciples of Cthulhu, possibly? I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. Mm. And you won't believe me, but... When we bathed him earlier... He seemed to feel better? Yes. Oh. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. Oh. But that doesn't explain his condition. So his body is mutating. He's being turned into a disciple of Cthulhu. That's interesting. So if they're implanting something in these people and it is transforming them into uh, future prodigies of the Tentaculu monster himself. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. Yeah. And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Cowden, may I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've done to him what I do to all my patients. Provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? Hmm. Turning him into a monster. I don't know if I should be that strong, but maybe I should be that deliberate. Um. His limbs? His body temperature? I don't know what experiments you've undertaken, but this is going too far. Oh. I sense some excitement beneath your indignation. Could it be you wish to join me in my scientific endeavors? You are a brilliant physician, Dr. Fuller, but this man... This man has the attributes of... Some kind of animal. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps. No, oh, so you do know. This amuses you. Yeah. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be, in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Wow. So he's using experimental a work. What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Yeah. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? Wow. So he is using some sort of experimental treatment with cephalopods, octopus, or squid, something with tentacles and suction cups to somewhat cure these patients? I don't know. On one side, I would even say that that I would be very, very quick to say that he has something to do with the uh, ritualistic uh, cult that is at work at this island. But another side of me would say that he has somehow been gifted with knowledge that he thinks he can use to help better the lives of his patients. And this knowledge 
and gift that he has been given uh, is some sort of Cthulhu related magic or something that is secretly turning these patients into like some sort of mutated uh, creatures of some sort. But he may not know that. He may think that he's actually furthering his studies of science and knowledge. So, yeah. Okay, let's go back to this. Oh, no, don't tell her that. Mm, nobody mentions crimes for now. Hidden files are proof. Uh, we'll just stay calm for I now. I disapprove of Fuller's methods, but his treatments have saved more lives than I can count. Hmm. And Mr. Blake? You said yourself he was dying. I don't know what to think for now. What I'm sure of is that Fuller is hiding something from us. And I need to know what that is before I take a chance exposing him. And where would you find those? In his office? What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep Mum. Thank you, thank you. You saved. All right. Crouch, can I crouch? Here we go. Rings forming on his fingers. Hey, get up, get up, get up, get up. Okay. An unknown medicine. Judging by the other ones, it causes heavy side effects. Heavy side effects. Oh, it's daytime. Thank God. Alright. Okay, what can we discover here, people? Looking around. Why is there hidey holes in here? Well, I don't like that. Last time there were hidey holes, there was something I was running from. Okay, let's not do that just yet. This place draws you in and never lets you go. This is the working schedule of work calendar. So you are cognitive? Is that you, Often Owen? Chronic insomnia. Like half the island. Everyone here is using sleeping pills. Oh god, what if that's a drug? I'm gonna go into this swing. See what we're getting at here. Hay fever. What's he doing here? That's it? Just hay fever? Doctor, please. Uh, my chest. Oh. Let me see. His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Wow. All right. Yeah. Nurse? Deborah, come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. Well done. I am doing the Lord's work. Alright. Fire is nice and warm. Okay. Oh, alright. What else can I find here? What about you, patient? Ah, uh, the whaling station. What's wrong with me? Oh? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, doctor, is that you? Yes, Are it's you blind? Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. It's the old whaling station. See? The bootleggers? What happened there? You tell me. Tell me about another time. No, what happened what there? What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. Jeez. And that's how you broke your back. Oh my Perhaps. god! No idea. Passed out. I'll just sleep a bit more. Okay. He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Ouch. Broke his back. Damn. Why did nobody tell me about her admission? Oh, Irene Sanders is here. Whoa! As Edward Pierce, I was just at her home. Well, the treatment's in Mr. Hurts, if you're, or maybe, what the hell? Mrs. Sanders? She, she is catatonic. 
Oh no. Stuff's going on here. Alright. Let me see you. She recently came back from the surgical block. She's stable. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. We had tentaculu magic. Or cephalopod transplants. Grandma Helga? Oh, okay. Oh, what can I find here? Ooh, what are the, all these like... Erpentine! Look at all these gauze. Wow. What a medical facility. Nothing in there. Anything in there? What is the boiler room key doing here? Well, take the it. The key to the boiler room. Well, then take Not it. Not where I expected to find it. What? The key to the boiler well, room. Well, then fucking take it. What? Not where I expected to find it. Why would you? Oh my god. Can I climb up the ladder? No, I cannot. All right, let me see about you, sir. Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. Ooh. Look at the chops on you, bro. All right. Another insomniac. Oh. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. I should find the cause. I thought your beard from a distance, your little goat patch, was a mouth and you were just slaying there gaping. <laughs> You're gone! You're not there! <gasps> There's no one there either! We have a walker! Oh. Uh, oh, you just. Oh, your mouth. Can I talk to you? Dr. Colden, mm -hmm. he are at last. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. We've been following the treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. Oh. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyper allergic. Interesting. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. Oh, God. I guess Advise you just did. left bloody wounds. Bloody wounds. Okay. He bit his lips so much, they're still bleeding. White froth. Evidently Oops. because of such drooling. So, doctor. Odd. What should we do with this patient? What should we do? Your lipstick and whatnot is all Cthulhu green. Hmm. Keep taking care of his wounds. I don't know what to do. This patient has been mistreated. I don't know anything medicinal to diagnose him with a mistreatment. Oh god, okay. Should I be that accusationable? Blah, 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 blah. Should I make that much of assumption? There's a lot of floaties in here. Dust. This patient has been mistreated. No. Hmm. You did good work. The tranquilizer is kicked in. Now you can disinfect and bandage his wounds. Thank you, Doctor. And as to his weight loss? I'll prescribe an antifungal treatment for his dysgusia. In the meantime, feed him intravenously. It'll be done. I don't know if that was the right decision. Oh, I really don't know. Any of you medical professionals out there, I probably made the bad decision, didn't I? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, sorry, sorry. I have successfully walked through everywhere. Okay. Oh, this is the patient room. Is that you, Dr. Bird? Oh, fucking Officer Bradley? Ethan. Marie, I... What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? What, what, what medication are you waiting for? You're a bad liar. Oh, she's a master at it. Alrighty. You're not here for treatment, right? Am I so obvious? <laughs> Only to me. I know you worry about me. I trust you. I'm happy to see you. Me too, Ethan. Is that all? Well, there might be something else. I'm not sure. Tell me. Okay. I have nightmares. They keep me awake every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. Mad. 
It seems like an affliction. They're just tired. No! So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Do you think it might be related to Fuller's work? I don't yes. know yet, but I will figure all this out. Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh. There's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. Ethan Bradley. Sit back down in your chair. Front office. Ding ding! These people need treatment! Hold on. I need. I want to see if I need to talk to people. I can't talk it's to It's a people. quiet little town. Days go by, steady as ever. Yeah. I wanted more for myself, but. That's it. Okay. I'm leaving, all oh, you fuckers. No, not yet. I need to get into his office, don't I? I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patience here. I feel your struggle. God, doctor's offices can take so long sometimes. It's not always their fault. Let me just stress that right now. I don't know what all goes on in the world of medical profession, so... Where did my fiancé go? I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. At first, I thought she said, where the hell did my fingers go? Let me talk to the receptionist. Dr. Grandma! Colden. That's it, Dr. Colden. Why, yes, I am, thank you. I'm gonna talk to everybody in here. I don't know. Don't mind me just walking fast into the establishment. I work here, there's an emergency. You. Dr. Colden, we need you at once in dormitory B. Uh... I'm, I was right there. What is the problem? Mr. Evans seems to be having trouble with his IV. I've done an exam. Deborah is looking after him. And the family of Mrs. Harding is asking to see her medical file. I'll never understand why it's so hard to see patients' files around here. Rules are rules. See, with Dr. Fuller, he's in charge. Anyhow, they're still waiting, and I don't think they'll leave until they get what they want. Understood. Anything else? As a matter of fact, yes. A man has been brought up from the basement. I saw him, yes. Mm -hmm. It's always the same thing. They bring them up, without any explanation, with a multitude of self-inflicted injuries. We take care of the wounds, and then they leave. Each time, I feel like I'm sending them back to hell. Their affliction is not our responsibility. You cannot save Listen everybody, here. Doctor. Listen here. Ah, oh, you motherfucker. Oh, it's, it's our jobs to take care of them. Why are there hidey holes? God damn it. Oh, I don't like it. Uh, this man, Edward Pierce, his file is incomplete. What did Fuller do to him? What did he do? Is this now or is this in, in the past? I don't know. Okay. I'm going to try and find a way to get into... Fuller's office, wherever that may be. Um, hmm. Storage room. Oh, this is a different floor, isn't it? Storage room. Storage room. That's not where I need to go. Okay, I don't need to talk to you. I don't need to talk to you. Thomas Fuller. His office. In there. Okay. People are in there. People are in there. Administration room. Hold on. What's that? The boiler room. It's locked. I don't have any business in the boiler room. Oh, I don't have any business in the boiler room. Oh, shut your trap. Pharmacy. There's nothing in here that I need to take care of. Oh my god. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. What's it's wrong, so honey? unfair. What's wrong, honey? Elizabeth? You alright? Why is this room in such a state? Because as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Oh, you poor thing. 
why go through her? Hang in there, honey. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Oh. Imagine if there were a leak. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. Mm. So every time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she's settled the problem. I, I hate see. that. Courage, Elizabeth. Hang Thank in there, you, doctor. Woman. Hang in there. People are fucking bitches, all right? Water. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Interesting. Ah! Oh, so it is. Temperamental. The boiler room. I'm supposed to go into his office. So, without further ado. Let's hope I can go through the administration office. Okay, yeah, that's right. It's locked. Okay. Why, hello, everybody. Let me just close that. Anything here that I need to listen to and see or inspect? No. It's water closet. Why is it so dark? Why is it so dark in here? Hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, nope. Let's just shut those real quick. In case there's anything there. Or maybe I'm trapping myself in here with a monster! No. Don't mind me, ma'am. I'm not gonna talk Wait to you. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Oh, it's you, slimy woman. Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. You're so but slimy. Rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. Well, shit. Distract Donovan Run off the water. You are a fucking slut. Okay. All right. Uh, hmm. Distract Donovan. How can I do that? Excuse me. Hmm. High security unit. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. Okay. It's so unfair. Oh, I'm back in here. All right. Having trouble with the IV, are we? Or no, I've already, okay, I've already admitted you. Oh God, there's hidey holes. No, you're pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan. Mm. Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> and the answer is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. That silly goose lets herself be trodden on. Oh, well, at least we won't have to clean for a while. And just wait and Poor see thing. the next time the water's cut off. It's a real show. Dr. Wait. Colden? That's it? Okay. Pardon me, I'm in here. Uh, okay, secrets of science. Secret science. Is that all I needed in here? Please don't tell me in my state as Dr. Colden, I'm also... Uh, claustrophobic. That's a weird fucking mop. It just looks like a towel on a stick. Watch out for the water, Doctor. Oh, okay, we'll do. All right, what's your General, problem? May I help you? We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. Mm. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything since. Uh, I actually just I've saw her. I tended to her, and I have good news. Her blood analysis is reassuring. Her kidneys are as new. Are you talking about the same person? This is miraculous. She's still recovering, but you may speak to her upon her awakening. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. 
We'll wait for her to wake up. We've been here since this morning, so it won't make a difference. Credit oath? Oh, God! Oh, that's you. Can I shut these doors? No, I cannot. Oh, you're just patrolling. Okay. Let me go into the kitchen. All right. Oh, what's in here? Another fucking hidey hole. Th I don't like this. Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. Ugh. That's nasty. Like some sort of slop. Oh, but an actual apple. I'll take that. And bread over whatever slop that is. This door can open both ways. Alrighty, so let me see about getting in another way. I don't need to leave. I need to find a way to distract Donovan. Okay. Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. Oh, oh Please, okay. Please, the fewer oh. interruptions there are, the faster I'll be finished. Well, okay, I'm sorry. Let me just shut the door. Let me shut the door for you. Let me shut the door. Let me shut the door. Please, the fewer interruptions. Okay, fine, fuck you. All right, so I'm gonna go in here. Mm, I'll go in here. Oh, that's locked. The operating locked. room is never accessible after an operation. Oh, oh, so. I gotta find a way to distract her. The boiler room. I mean, I had no business in the boiler room. Let me go and fucking... Wait, did that just say bathing men? Bathroom men? Bathroom. Everybody says it. She's a witch. An old hat. That's a bathroom? I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. Okay, you know what? No, that's that way. Uh, let me go and see if I can get that boiler room key. Oh no, there's someone there. Is she gonna say something? Ah, uh, yes, yes. The key to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. There we go. Yeah. I go shut off the water to the boiler room and then run into his office and do something. We're gonna blow it up. You're still in there, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Boiler room. All right, go, 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 go. Ew, this thing. Massive. Okay. Uh, right there. Oh, Jesus. I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. Find a tool, huh? And I find one of these things. Okay, well, let me just shut this in case someone is like snoop snopping around. Uh, administration room. No, no, no. Pharmacy. No, no. I could find a tool somewhere else. Um, in there? No, a tool won't be in there. Maybe. I don't know. What is this? Okay, in here. Shut that. Nope. Nope. A tool. A tool. A tool. A tool. A tool. A tool. I am looking for a tool. Where is it? Looks in the mirror. Ah, there's a tool. Yes. Okay. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna run throughout. Oh, look, a fucking broom. Okay. Well, no. Okay. What could I possibly use? Have I found it? Have I seen it before already? Oh, question mark. A tool. A tool. Oh, hello. Nurse. Just taking a smoke break. Ah, yes. The fucking ladle just dang. You're in there for now. Okay. Storage room. Yes. Anything in here? No. Anything in there? Let me see. 
Pardon me, doctor. What is that? Oh, um, 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 um. Hello. You're running out of this medicine. I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, but Mrs. Donovan refused it. Once mm, again. Of course. Can't you do anything? Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. I'm afraid I can do nothing about it for the moment. Hmm. That's kind of helpless. Well, what else is in here? We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. Oh. I thought I was going to just grab the fucking, like, shelf. And do something with that. Okay, hold on, guys. Your boy's a little slow. The doses prescribed by Fuller are far too high. Jeebus. I don't know what length it is. New clue memorized. All right. Well, I need to find a tool to cut off the water. Where can I find this damn tool? There's the boiler room. It's administration. A tool, the tool wouldn't be in here, would it? Start up. You sack of shit. All right. Here, I'm gonna shut that. A tool, a tool. What can I find? A bar stool could work. Whoop. Well, I guess that won't work. Oh, what tool do I need to find? Is there like a maintenance room or something? Got that. Everybody says it. She's a witch. An yeah, old she's a witch. She's I a bitch. Okay. And I'm the Is one there anything in here that I can use? Jesus, straps and everything. Gross. This is a bathroom? Where's the fucking toilets? Hmm. Gross. It's temperamental. If I understand correctly. Okay, it's temperamental. Cool. Can I not go in here? The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. Mm. Mm. Okay, well, alright. Let me find a goddamn tool. Find a tool. What is this? Oh, it's the bathroom. He finished mopping in here. <laughs> alright. Now we gotta go to the boiler room, baby! The boiler room! The bo 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 boiler room! And she's gonna. Okay. When I do that to the boiler room, she'll probably come out of here. I can go around there, crouch, and go into his office. Okay. Alright, now we go. Scream! Jesus Christ. Okay. What a hell of a thing. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Right, I need the diversion. Okay. Right. I don't know where she's gonna go. Ooh. Do I need to do something? Hold on. It's temperamental, it's temperament if I understand correctly. Have you left your post? You have not. Yeah, turn the water back on. Do I need to go talk to her? Do I need to go talk to her? Why are there hidey holes? I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Oh, well, fine. Mrs. Donovan, I will find ways to distract your nasty slimy ass. Well, now what do I do? What? What? I'm just gonna shut that. All right. Oh wait, the bathroom. Maybe I gotta do something with the bathroom. Well, fucking. Hmm, I've got to do something. Distract Donovan. Alright? Maybe I gotta do something. Oh, you're in here now, okay. You're gone! Have I taken- can I take anything from here? Oh! 
There was a wrench. I could have took that. Well, she's still in there. So, go back to Elizabeth. Go back to Elizabeth. Elizabeth! Wait. No! No, that's not Elizabeth. Elizabeth was the woman. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't. I should have took notice of that. Elizabeth! Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. Oh, I feel I know, I'm gonna honey. burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Hang Here in there. Go. Hang in there, honey. Hold your tongue this time. Tell that bitch off, fucking curse her. Hold on, I gotta uh, inspect the... I am not pierced at the moment. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> All right, let me see if I get everything straight. Q, navigate to the menu, R, R, nope, that wasn't it. Ah, yes, 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 but, 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 inhabitants. Okay, yeah, 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 ah, okay. All right, that's fine. All right, now you're just gonna go straight in there. You're just gonna go, Yo, oh, you're just gonna go in there? Just gonna go in! Shut the missing Shut the door. files must be hidden here. Shut the door! Shut the door! Okay, Jesus. Alright, there's hidey holes. Missing files. Missing files. Go to his desk. Missing files. Missing files. Missing files. Missing files. No! Not there! Over here! Yes! No! Ah! The Stendhal Syndrome. Of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. But, well, no, that wasn't... The secret files. The secret files. Where's the sacred files, damn it? Search the office. Sacred files. Files. There's drawers. Anything? Hello? I don't like that there's fucking hidey holes in here. I really don't like that. There we go. Something is wrong with these masts. <gasps> They're it's some sort of puzzle. Ah, uh, yes. There we go. I've unlocked it. I've unlocked it. Ah, patient files. I was right. Patient files. I was right. Okay. Oh, let's crouch. Over here. Listen to the fucking photograph. Oh. Conclusions. Session number 17. Patient. Sarah Hawkins. Hmm. The patient appears to have finally accepted the illusory nature of what she calls the mythos. Oh, really? It goes without saying that these peculiar delusions are the price that comes with her exceptional gifts. Mm. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? That is strange. First, oh. I presumed that her blood was the key. Oh! Was it? Nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. Her abilities? The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Oh, no. Then James came. I'm right that Charles was keeping secrets from him. Oh. I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. Ah, uh, okay. I am prepared. I'm prepared. What 
does that mean? Parkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? It's fortunate that I had the presence of mind to set the mall in the basement. Is that Charles Hawkins? When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. Oh! In the oh, end, they must remain hidden in plain sight. Interesting. Well, that means I can go hunt for them. They must be hidden in plain sight. Of course. Sarah Hawkins is the connection. Her shoe? Make sure I'm next to a hidey hole or something. Make sure I'm... Uh, okay. I'm leaving. I must go back to the basement. I should go another way. Hey, should go another way. Oh no, is she gonna be right there? Shut the door. Shut the door. Got to get to the basement. Shut that door. All right, cool. I have made progress. No, it's this way. Directly right there. Yes. Make sure this is Donovan, that haggle bitch. Yes, she's still talking to him. Run! Hey, go down into the psychiatric wing. No, 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 no. Alrighty. Oh, this place looks a lot meaner than before. It's a lever! Guys, it's a lever! Okay. Uh,. Uh, shut, yeah, shut the door. No one must know that I'm here. Okay, ding, 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 ding. I'm going down, down into the basement. Well, that's interesting. So maybe he does. That's blood. Oh, that's blood. Oh, are those screamings of the damned? Oh no. Anyway, so he mu he was finding out about Sarah Hawkins' abilities and he's trying to use that to to further his progression into uh, science and his knowledge as a physician. So he's trying to use those exploits to further his own successes. No, I must go down here. Locked. Then I will go through here. Locked. Well, then I will go through the one I said no to. Oh, Jesus Christ. No. Ah, now that's the Marie that I know. Oh. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time oh, yes. to show you what you were so eager to discover. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God, guys. That was an eyeball. Everyone in Cthulhu's vision. If you're gonna shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Okay. Slowly. I'm a friend. I promise. I promise. I'm Talk, a friend. Filthy thief. Oh, I swear I'll shoot. I'm not a thief. I'm not. Oh, uh, no. My. All of that's still under oh god oh i need um eloquence okay uh unlocked answer take a minute to look around everything points to charles hawkins he's dead no he was here for a very specific item oh no the book why was it in the safe have you read it answer the question Mm. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? Mm, man. So what that book did, it showed me a glimpse into Colden's exploits down at the Institute, and I just witnessed a scene as Pierce. Okay, cool. Well, damn. I really need to upgrade this shit. 
Oh, that was needed a master. So there's shit that I need to find throughout the game that will unlock that. Okay, so I really need to peel through a lot of stuff. I don't know if I have missed it. I probably have, but I've missed a lot of shit in the game, probably. She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Hmm. Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Necronomicon! That's Dr. it! Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait! No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. Why, yes. You also have runes all over your front. You're the guy. I thought you were just H.P. Lovecraft. As a Easter egg of the game. All right. All yes! Right. This I might need you after destiny. all. Yes! Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins Mansion. Now go! Rescue the Doctor! Thank you, Drake. Thank you, Mr. Drake. Thank you for your help. Oh, God! We're just going straight into it then. Okay! Well, shit! Wow. Well, okay then. Wow! Well, that was an interesting development, and not bad, you know? Still, that's disconcerting. I think what those hidey holes were for was for me, Edward Pierce, when I go in to save the doctor. Oh, no. Okay, so, alrighty. Well, all that happened. So, yeah, that'll do it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, Thank you for the subscribers that I have so far. Uh... Yeah, a lot of things in all of this actually wouldn't be possible without you guys. So thank you very much for subscribing and watching me thus far. Uh, as for the rest of you, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe for more content from this goofy dork. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more episodes of this in the future. I think we're actually going to get into the nitty gritty stuff here. So yeah, keep on board with this adventure and as per usual i will see you guys around the next time bye no!